let's take a look at command line concepts. Redirecting standard error. By default, the output redirection operators only redirect standard output. They do not redirect standard error. Let's try a command that produces an error and redirects its standard output. The directory slash xyz does not exist. Executing this command, an error message is printed to the screen. Let's examine the file foo.txt with less. The file foo.txt does not contain the error message we just saw. This is because error messages are not sent to standard output, but rather to standard error. And the output redirection operator we used in the command only redirects standard output to the file foo.txt. To redirect standard error of a command, we use a numeral file descriptor 2 immediately before the redirection operator. Standard input, standard output, and standard error are all special files. Each of them has a numeral file descriptor. The file descriptor of standard input is 0, standard output 1, and standard error 2. Let's examine the file foo.txt's contents now with less. See that the file foo.txt does now contain the error message from the command ls.